everybody. It's Michelle and I had sort of an idea that I wanted to share with you guys today. If you remember this little dangle that I made in my Simple Bead Dangles video that was a collab with Happy Bird, I really loved this particular dangle that I made in that video. I just love that sparkly bead. So, anyway, I had this still laying out on my desk from when I had made that video. When I received a gift with some beading supplies in it that included this little acrylic bead cap in sort of a cone shape, and when I saw that laying on my desk next to this bead dangle that was already there. To me that just looked like maybe the most beautiful table lamp that I had ever seen. So I really wanted to turn that into a table lamp. It's just an idea that I kind of got by accident when I saw these two together. So I wanted to create it for you today. So that's about 10 millimeters high by about 15 millimeters wide. We're going to be needing that and our sparkly bead here that we used in our dangles which is about an 8 by 10 millimeter rondelle shape. So anything that you have in that size will work. And then I have my two large daisy spacers. And those are about nine millimeters across and then I've got a silver bugle bead it's about seven millimeters long but we're just going to be using that to go inside of the blue one to kind of snug it up on our head pin a little bit then we have a two millimeter crimp tube a six by eight clear faceted teardrop bead a white pearl colored number six seed bead, two of our three millimeter sequins, and a two inch head pin. And we'll need a jump ring and a lobster clasp. I almost forgot those. Okay, to get started we're going to build the bottom portion of our lamp just like we did in our bead dangle. And I will put a link to that video below too if you want to watch that bead dangle video too. So first we put on one of our 3 millimeter sequins and that's just to make a larger head on our head pin because the hole is so large on our daisy spacers. We don't want that to slip off. So then you put on one of your daisy spacers and your rondelle and now this is where we put our bugle bead and that will just kind of fall down inside of there so that it's a little less wobbly on the head pin and then our other daisy spacer so there is just what we had with our bead dangle. So from here we're going to turn it into a lamp and I'm going to put on another one of my sequins so that my next bead does not fall down inside of that large hole in the daisy spacer. And that's going to be my two millimeter crimp tube and I'm just kind of using that as a spacer and then I'm going to use the teardrop bead underneath. I thought that would be cute to make it like sort of a light bulb inside of there and then my number six seed bead and I just used that in the white pearl color so that it would kind of blend in with my bead cap here that's going to be the lampshade. 
And again, you don't have to be quite this whimsical with the light bulb and everything. You can just replace these three beads here, which are about 12 to 13 millimeters total. And you can find maybe just one long bugle bead or something to fill that gap just as the post inside the lamp if you don't want to add the bulb. But I figure too much whimsy is never enough. I love it, so I really wanted to add that in. But it's up to you. And if you use bugle beads here, you may need another sequin on top of that to keep your lampshade from slipping over it. And then we just add that on. And there's your table lamp with the bulb inside. So just hold everything snugly together and bend your head pin over. And then we're going to cut that down to about a quarter inch. And then with our round nose pliers, we're going to roll that into a loop. And then we'll attach our jump ring and lobster clasp. Just dangle that on. And then your clasp. And close it back up. And isn't that an adorable little table lamp? I think that is just so cute. So you all be sure and let me know if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also go over and give me a like on my Facebook page. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And you can visit my new blog at craftykaleidoscope.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.